What's up, people? I'm going to take just a couple minutes today to go over a quick case. And this one is another one which we can go into as far as holding police liable, but in the instance of exercising a right. And our right today is to remain silent. Now, there are a lot of times I'm watching videos on YouTube or on some other, you know, social networks and the police are grabbing people for not responding or saying, "You're why are you not talking to me? Well, here's the thing. Again, just like in the last video, I told you, you have no obligation to them. None whatsoever. You don't have to help them in their investigation. You do not have to participate as a police officer. They've got 19 minutes to handle their business if they decide that you are part of a crime. Either that, now you they have some they have to do something. They either have to release you or you take their ass to federal court. Now, what I'm going to go into today is again the right to remain silent. And this is again one for my First Amendment auditors. Because I see this happening to them more often than not. In Florida v. Royer. 460 US 491 an individual when approached has the right to ignore the police and go about his or her business that although police have the right to approach individuals and ask questions the individual has no obligation to respond so again even in a Supreme Court case you have the right to remain silent why? Because you do not have any obligations to the police. Police have the fiduciary duty, the fiduciary obligation to be amenable to you at all times and to answer your questions. And if they do not, they are committing fraud. Their proof of their fiduciary duty is their oath of office. So understand, there is a time and a place to have an argument. It is not in the street. Force them to do their job properly. And if they choose not to do it properly, it's time to go ahead and remove them from the force. And how you do that is you take them to federal court. Why? Because they are violating federal law, which is your constitutional restrictions that are placed upon them. They are violating or breaching their fiduciary duty. Keep that in mind. Hold them accountable. If that's, if that's what's happening, if that's your choice to hold them accountable, federal court in their individual capacity, getting proof of their fiduciary duty with their oath of office is how you hold them accountable.